word for so it. So when I don't laugh, it's okay because it's a dad joke. What? No, you are no, your dad's not funny. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> What's good, what's good, what's good, my size? We're back again with another video. Um, I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of uncomfortable. <laughs> so I just we got a new super truck. Short. And so that she could take over the Honda. I'm sure you guys saw the car tour. And uh, she needs a phone book, you guys. Yeah, I'm like slipping. I don't know, I just feel super small in this truck. Okay. She's what? taking her shoes off so she can sit on her knees. But you guys, when we do the mukbangs at home, I'm always at the dining room table. Knees. She's always sitting on her knees, so you guys. Can you see can her. tell when I get tired of sitting on my knees because then I go from like the same height as my mom to like smaller. And I'm not even sitting on my knees. I'm standing on my tippy toes. Like this is so embarrassing. <laughs> She's like literally squatting in seat. <laughs> <laughs> this is so embarrassing. I really hope nobody drives by us. All right, y'all. Um, today we are doing <laughs> Sam's Club food court food and there's not a lot available so you get a hot dog no condiments no ketchup no yeah. mustard no relish that's no right up my alley but like at the same time they didn't even, they don't even have like drinks available they had like no they had like their four fruit yogurt is that a frozen bubble? yogurt thing oh no i'm seeing things <laughs> no I'm okay. seeing things. Our frozen yogurts. So we got frozen yogurts. I got chocolate. She got vanilla. Usually I get vanilla so we and can have like this, some of each other that like we can share. Yeah, but this but, and pizza is all they have available. And yeah. we are not doing. Or they have like the four berry Sunday one. Mm. But I don't like those. That's just nasty. But you guys, they don't even have fountain drinks available. But you know me, I had to stop and get a drink. I can't eat without a drink, so. I have a trash can on the floor, so if I disappear, that's where I'm going. So, because of the quarantine, the foods are very, very limited. There we so, go. So, excuse me. I have a Coke oh, and. Dr. Pepper. Yeah. Mm hmm. So, these are really good. But I do miss like having mustard or is that Dr. relish. Mine's Coke. Is that Dr. Pepper? Sometimes oh. I just don't know anymore. I don't know why, but like, yeah. Oh, okay. And it's so hot. Our yogurts, our frozen yogurts, are turning into mesh. Uh, yeah, chocolate milk for me because it's not even a milkshake thickness anymore. Because it's just too warm. My truck says it is. 112 degrees. And when we first started our errands like an hour ago, it said it was like 120. Mm-hmm. Good old desert, you guys. If you hear the AC, sorry. It's gotta stay on. It is too hot. So, usually, I take my showers at night, but yesterday I was just so tired, so I just took one this morning and my hair was wet, and as soon as I walked outside, my hair turned from damp to like dry yeah. <laughs> and it's it took warm. me like living in the desert maybe like 20 steps to like get to the truck because <laughs> my mom parks right in front of our door so like that's just sad like that's how hot it is it is it's very warm these are good how is yours good i do miss like something i know i want like ketchup or something well what, comment below what do you guys like on your hot dogs ketchup mustard relish Barbecue sauce, sauerkraut. Mm. What sauerkraut? That green stuff? No, no the relish. white stuff. That the green stuff is relish. That looks like cut up pickle. Sauerkraut is the white stuff that's clumpy. It looks like onions, but it's clumpy enough. And it's a uh, like a tart taste flavor. Mm. It's stringy looking like onions, but when you scoop it up, it's like clumpy. She wouldn't eat it anyway. Mm -hmm. I like to change it up. Some people even like ranch on their hot dogs. I think your dad puts ranch on his. <laughs> she doesn't like ranch. That she doesn't like a lot of sauce. Disgusting. You know what else I do like though? Um... <laughs> the one from Cane's. Yeah, the one from Cane's and, and the one from uh, In and Out. Thousand Island dressing. That's actually really good. Which is crazy because isn't that made with mayonnaise? I don't know, probably. Do you guys call it mayonnaise, mayo, or like however else you say mayonnaise? 
I just say mayonnaise. I, mean, I don't think I've ever said mayonnaise. This is good. I was hungry. We had a brunch at Sam's Club. We didn't even plan to eat today at or pick up these hot dogs because one, I didn't even know if they were going to be open in the court or the food court. But we had to run and get some groceries at Sam's Club, and then we we're walking out and passing the food court, and we we're like, mm. and then they have printed out on a sign what foods are available, and it's literally the hot dog, plain, the frozen yogurts. Which is like three of them, and then a full pizza. Yeah, you can't even get pizza by the slice. You got to get a full 16-inch pizza. Mm-hmm. So, what I don't understand in Sam's Club is how, like, there'll be, like, five associates at the exit. Because, you know, they're, like, supposed to, like, scan your receipt and then scan your item. There'll be, like, five associates there, but then they'll let, like, this whole long line... And like, cause like one time I went to Sam's Club and I just had like a thing of sushi or whatever and nobody stopped me. So I just kept going. Cause like, I didn't know. And my mom was like, no, you have to like wait in this line. And all I think was, cause every associate that was there had like the little machine thing to scan the receipt. And they just all just watched me walk away with like the sushi. Like, I don't get it. Like, I don't know. What's the point of like the associates all having the same like, like little like machine thingy to scan it or whatever if they're not gonna use it and they're just gonna let their customers stand in a long line. I think they're supposed to help out, they just don't. Right, that's why I just like started walking away cause I didn't know because this freaking family was in front of us and they had like a cart full of like drinks and like food, like it was full full to like the max. And this lady literally stood there and scanned every single item in their cart. So why would I wait <laughs> for that long when I just have one item? <laughs> so I just kept walking. I don't walking. understand. They're supposed, to, um, they're supposed to scan like one or something items, not the whole shebang. Yeah, but it turned out like they like forgot to scan like one of the items or something. I don't know. But like why oh, would that's I different. wait? Sometimes they do a count. Like they can look at the receipt. You know at the bottom of your street it says, oh, you've purchased 12 items. So they'll, they can quickly count. Oh, you have 13 items in your cart. Where, what's missing? So then they actually have to go through. But if you go out of there with like, if it's Sam's Club and you're walking out of there with 50 items, they're not going to be able to tell. Right, so I don't know what was going on, but like, I don't know. It's kind of like the whole like, um, common courtesy thing. So like if I'm on a self-checkout line and I have like a couple of, and I have like a couple of items, but the guy in front of me has like, you know, one less than me or something, like I'll let him go first, you know, or if I have a cart full and the guy next to me has like 10, I'll let him go first. Like it's just common courtesy. Yeah, it's not a meatball like that. That's my spoon for my not so frozen yogurt. <laughs> I know it's like turning into a liquid. It's so funny. I'm a, I'm really kind of worried it's gonna leak out the lid. And normally um, I don't get these. Um, I have trash over here on my side. That's good. It's kind of messy. I think I feel like I need a straw. I know, right? I don't normally get these, and I know that's really chocolatey. I know I'm not gonna be able to finish it. I prefer a swirl, but they're not even doing that. You can make yours mine if you want. No, it's fine. <laughs> I don't even know what I was talking about, but mid-sentence, my phone just shut off. It basically said that it's too hot where we are. Yeah, it basically says like temperature of the phone is like too hot for it to work. So we so, have it sitting here in front of the AC. Yeah but using my phone instead. Hopefully the video quality comes out okay. We have the same phone, but we've never like airdropped video. <laughs> I've never had to do that We've before. never had to piece together the video. I'm gonna be honest though, like, if your phone says that it's too hot where you live, like, that's how you know it's like A scorching desert. here. Uh -huh. Yeah, like it's so hot here. Still says 112, but I think it's just because the sun is coming in through the window and we have the yeah. phone on the dash. Like, I don't know if you guys could see, like, the, the sun rays coming in. Like, that's not a filter. Like, that's the actual sun. Okay, well, we have Hulu, Netflix, and cable. My mom and I don't like watching cable because there's literally, we, we stay up until, like, 2, 3 in the morning and there's never anything good on. So, if you watch cable, like, what do you guys like? Like, what TV shows do you guys to watch? Do you guys like to watch, I should say? Um, I don't know what came out of my mouth. We don't have HBO or, or Disney Showtime Plus or anything like that. No, HBO and Showtime is cable. Oh. Like movie channels on cable, but they're extra. That's how often I watch cable. I have no idea. 
but I don't care for Hulu because Hulu has too many commercials. And if you get an original Hulu series, like a regular a Hulu original like TV show, they only come out once a week like cable. So I don't like that either. I really like this show called Lucifer on Netflix and it's got like five seasons. Mm -hmm. oh, and cool. like See, I don't eat that much, you guys. I'm really No, fun. she usually has like three bites of us. I never get my own. I only did it for the mukbangs. So you're welcome. <laughs> yeah, I totally figured joking. you did too. I only did it because you got vanilla. I thought, well, let me show chocolate because we're not going to get the nasty berry stuff you that Grandma likes. vanilla? Because I have never had vanilla. No, I'm good. Okay. I like vanilla, but I don't want it. Like, I don't want any ice cream. I'm not a sweets eater, so. What you guys see me eat of sweets is all I eat of sweets. Right? Unless yeah. she makes cookies. Then, not the, not the stuff in the mug. <laughs> My bad. You're going to have to edit. <laughs> When she makes her <laughs> her signature homemade cookies, game over. Like it's that is like end game. I will eat every single one that she's made. I literally have to leave the house because her cookies are addicting. It's funny because I was thinking like the same thing you were just saying. <laughs> so her car is so big that like not like in order to hoist myself up, I have my <laughs> foot on like on like the little dash thing of the door. We're like right next to the handle. I don't really know how to explain She it. has her foot resting on the door handle, the yeah. arm of the door. And I gotta like lean. Yeah, I So those lean. of you that are, you know, vehicle savvy, this is a Ford F-150. So it's a truck and she's this big, so. She looks. I this fall big. out of her car every single day. Like I need to get running boards, you guys. I, I this truck, we got it. It's a 2019. We just got it a couple of weeks ago, and it, you know, it doesn't have any bells and whistles. It has a backup cam, which is all I really needed. But um, I, it needs running boards. I'm not much taller than her. Well, okay, I am quite a bit taller than her. But even I need the running boards to step in. And I'm five. Hey, more. he's riding a uh, tricycle, an adult-sized tricycle. We were just in Sam's Club and saw oh. those, and we were like, oh, we want those. See, look, she could literally drink that. It melted down so oh. bad. <laughs> yeah, there's like one. I can't even tilt it to show you guys because it'll just it'll fall pour out. out. Yeah, it will. It'll pour out. But no, there's like one good like spoonful, and that's it. So back to my original question. Oh um, my bad. What do you guys like to watch on like Netflix or Hulu? Because for Hulu, comment below, please. We've been watching um, 90 Day Fiance. Which is really Don't funny. Don't get sucked into it. There's so many different episodes. my brother got me sucked into it, but because I hang out with her all the time, I got her sucked into it. So it's just like a full circle at this it's point. It's not even that the seasons are long as far as how many episodes are in a season. It's how many different ones there are. Because there's 90 Day Fiance. There's Happily Ever After, Before the 90 Days, The Other Way. And Pillow Talk. And Pillow Talk. So that's five different kinds of episodes. Like five different genres. And then they each have like five seasons. I can't. It's too much. Yeah, so it's on Hulu we watch that. On Netflix I'll watch like Lucifer, Criminal Minds. Hulu we also watched the other one about the little fires. What is that called? Little Fires Everywhere? Yeah. But I, I wasn't think a fan of it. I think that's done. Honestly, I only watched that show because you watched it. Otherwise, I didn't I only like watched it because it, it had um, Reese Witherspoon and Carrie Washington, and I'm a big fan of both of them. Oh, on Netflix, I'm I'll watch, like, um, there's a TV show called Elite, which is about, like, um, it's about, like, this boarding school, and there's, like, a murder, like, a murder happened, and they're trying to figure it out or something. I don't know. Or, like, Money Heist. I watch a lot of, like, foreign films because it's, like... Money Heist was good, though. The TV yeah. show, right? Yeah. That was good. I like that one. But you know, you know what Netflix needs? They need to put Zac, more Zac Efron movies out there. You did, like, such an amazing job in Ted Bundy. And he's just, he's done a very good job of transitioning in from a child actor into, um, into an like adult. Into, like, an adult actor, yeah. But, yeah. like, him and Paul Rudd, I feel like, need to, like, have their movies more put out there. Because they're, oh, they're, they're underrated. Yeah, like, they're my two favorite... Um, actors. actors and I just feel like they're super underrated because you know okay I'm gonna be honest with you my favorite um Zac Efron movie is Charlie St. Cloud oh that was a good one that was so sad though and my least favorite Zac Efron movie was Paperboy 
that movie gave me nightmares. <laughs> well, that was a bit extreme. That was a bit extreme. And for children watching, don't watch that. That's not yeah. That's not a child appropriate movie at all. I think it's all. like... Um, even for me, you have to have a strong stomach for that. Yeah, and you know what's crazy about that is that like Matthew McConaughey's in it. So like, of course I was going to watch it because I like Matthew McConaughey movies. But that movie literally scared me. Nicole Kidman was hecka funny in... Um, was it called just go with it with um adam sandler that's not Nicole Kidman. and adam sandler and jennifer aniston remember her best friend devin no yeah that was nicole kidman you don't remember the best friend they named i don't even after remember her I don't she's even on remember. the stage with the coconut and that weird guy and her whole relationship with that guy ends up being a lie oh i could look it up if i only had my phone it, you don't remember it? Isn't I'm going to be honest. Adam Sandler movies are good, but after Uncut oh, Gems... Not. After Uncut Gems came out, I, I, I forgot <laughs> all other Adam Sandler movies that ever existed. <laughs> like, that well, movie you, was like, just blended. so different. That movie was just so different than his style that I just lost well, all track of... Well, that's why he did of, that, because he's so stereotyped for me. You know what comedian. movie was actually really good? The Cobbler. I the one where he's like... He'll, Adam Sandler's like a shoe cobbler, so he'll repair the shoes, but he also tries them on, and then he becomes that person for oh, a Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I can't it has, believe you don't remember the other one. I'm and it has, like, that, that Joe Bruschetti, Bruschetti guy in it. I don't know. The the one who's in, like, every All single... Ev yeah! Um, what else? Nicole Kidman played in... Um, She's in a movie called Atomic Blonde, or maybe it's, like, it's got like the, uh, um, not Shelly Sirwin, maybe Shelly Sirwin, and um, Robbie, Margot Robbie. I don't know who that is either. What do you mean? Harley Quinn, she's in Focus with Will Smith. She. Oh, I don't know who she, she is. Was I, I know who she is now because of she Focus. She plays I Twan. I Twan. So the girl who plays in Focus is Harley Quinn? Yeah. Back to Nicole Kidman, I was thinking of um, the witch movie she played with um, Sandra Bullock where they were sisters and they were witches that live with their aunts. Practical magic. Are you talking about the one with the broom? Yeah. That's the only scene I know. Everything else I have no idea. <laughs> when they make the circle with the brooms. Yeah. I can't believe you don't remember Just Go With It. I don't really like that movie. I like Blended. I like Just Go With It. I think it's hilarious. Mom, you'd be surprised. There's actually a lot of movies where I only watch it because you like them. Otherwise, oh, I, I don't that. really care about them. I knew that. I think my favorite Jennifer Aniston movie because she she's in just go with it yeah yeah um never mind I'm not gonna answer that question because why one I don't really remember like which movie she's in oh no I have one I was gonna say I don't really like her movies you like Jared Butler though and Matt you know what you <laughs> bounty hunter yeah <laughs> where she's a bounty I like and Gerald Butler. Butler. He's so funny. What about the breakup with Vince Vaughn? I love Vince Vaughn. You know they dated in real life. I know. Okay, I'm so, gonna be honest. I, I feel think like when, when I think when they uh, <clears throat> date in real life, it makes the movie better because like their chemistry is more real. I'm gonna be honest. I feel like Vince Vaughn's personality is like good in the movies and stuff because his movies are pretty funny. But whenever. I see like a movie of him and Jennifer Aniston. It's just not that great. Cause like I've seen him in movies with like Jennifer Lo Lopez, and like that movie was pretty good. What was it called? That I weird one. Don't where, like, remember. Do you remember where she was like? Um, Vince Vaughn and Jennifer Lopez. Yeah, he played like the police officer or something, and she like had to go inside of her own mind, or like. Yeah, she had to, like, go inside of her own mind. Oh, that really old movie. Yeah. That was weird. And then she, like, got stuck in it or something. So then Vince Vaughn came and went into her mind and yeah. tried to get her out, even though he didn't know what he was doing. Yeah, that, that movie was, was weird. weird. But I really liked it because, like, I like movies. With it was kind of what they do on Hunger Games, but back then, if you think about it. Not Hunger Games, Divergent. Divergent. I knew exactly Divergent. what Divergent. Oh. Sorry, my bad. I get those mixed up all the time. She really does. <laughs> But who would you say is like your favorite like underrated underrated actor mm -hmm. or actress or either or either or I own a person oh like, wow. I know four <laughs> and he's from Divergent <laughs> I don't even I'm know so name. disappointed wait is it Theo, Theo James, James. <gasps> I remember no um he's actually the only one I can think 
right now because of the movies we're thinking of. But honestly, I don't re Oh, I know. Well, I don't know if he's underrated because he's an Avenger. But aside from being an Avenger, I think he's oh, underrated. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Mark Ruffalo. Yeah. Because I love him in all the rom-coms he's ever done. And I would think he's underrated. He's played with some really, like, Reese Witherspoon and Jennifer Gardner. Like, he's played with some really A-lister actor, actresses. And I think he's an A-lister actor. But if it wasn't for Hulk, I just feel like he would be underrated. All the you know, difference between DC and I have a Marvel hard time when it comes to Spider-Man movies. Because I've seen most of them. and I thought it was Tobey Maguire. Toby Maguire was the first one. That's the only one then I know. Then they changed, or I think he was the first one, and then they changed him to Andy Garfield, and then I think it became Tom Holland. But out of all the Spider-Man, even though like I really like Tom Holland movies, because they don't tell him, him and Mark Ruffalo, they don't tell him like the script or anything, or Spider-Mans or whatever, um, Toby Maguire is definitely my favorite. He's probably another like another like underrated actor I would watch because I like uh, The Great Gatsby because he's also underrated. I had one in mind, but I forgot it already. See how under you oh you know who I think is underrated though. Who even though she is like famous or whatever, but sometimes I feel like she was more famous for her marriage from time to time. Is Jennifer Gardner? I think she's mm. underrated. I think she could have done because yeah. when I saw her in that one movie where she was. Um, where her husband and daughter died. Remember in the beginning, mm. her husband and daughter died by Peppermint. a drive-by? Peppermint. Holy crap, that was a whole nother side of her, and she... That movie kind of scared me, not gonna lie. She rocked that part, though. She rocked that part. She was pretty awesome. And actually, Judd, she makes really good movies. You don't think so? I think she makes good movies. I think her role in Divergent was kind That's of annoying. Small. Her role in Divergent irritated me because like they just made her seem like clingy and like she couldn't say goodbye to her child. She was a mom. That's exactly. Just a mom role. I understand have you seen that, her but in, like, if you've Kiss seen the girls like or Double Jeopardy? No, but I have the movie because She's girls. amazing in those movies. She was the victim, but like she came out kicking. Mm. I have seen Kiss the Girls. With Morgan Freeman. Yep. And I, Double Jeopardy is where she's framed for killing her husband. I've never even heard of that movie. Yeah. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And comment below like other uh, videos you want to see from us and stuff like that. And let us let let Fun Caesar know too. Like, do you like the mukbangs or do you prefer the vlogs? And or do you prefer like videos of us cooking, but like not us eating? Oh yeah, like, like does that recipe make sense? videos. Or, um, also let us know what else you guys would like to see. If you do prefer mukbangs, what else do you want us to eat? Yeah. Or try, excuse me. Um, and then if you like vlogs, what would you like her to vlog? It's a dad joke or an That's outro? That's all of these jokes are. Really? Uh, what is a dad joke? <laughs> what does that mean? It's a joke that's, like, funny because it's kind of like a, like a... Not necessarily like a dumb joke, but like corny. a yeah, corny. Okay. I was like, "What's the word?" For so it? when I don't laugh, it's okay because it's a dad joke. What? No, you. you know your dad's not funny. funny. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's your joke. I was gonna say that's the other joke. Um, no. Um, the only people that would understand that would be people that know your dad, and I'm sure y'all yeah. agree, huh? Comment below. You said thumbs up <clears throat> if y'all agree. It's not that funny. <laughs> yeah. Alright, I'm ready. <laughs> this one, like, she always laughs before she tells it, and I'm sitting here with you guys, like, do, 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 because this one, like, doesn't do, do, make do, do, sense. Do, do, do. I do any of them? This one, like, doesn't make sense, but, like, if you think about it, it's actually really funny. So now we have to think. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Okay, ready? Um. So, I've been thinking, dad jokes are like hot dogs, and frankly, I just can't get enough. <laughs> frankly, because yeah. it's a, hot dogs are Frank's, Frank Butters. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, I didn't have to think, I got it right away. I think I get more proud of myself when I get the joke than actually laughing Yeah. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> well, on that note, um, I messed it up. Comment below if you appreciate my jokes, unlike some people in this vehicle. <laughs> Cause like not even on these videos, like I just tell a joke to my mom in general 
in real life and she'd be like I don't get it. Is that supposed to be funny? And I'm like, Mom, do you not like this, this, and this? And she's like, Oh, maybe I should tell the jokes because I'm hilarious. <laughs> See? Who told you that? You laugh. No. I laughed because I was explaining something and then you said, Oh, and I said, This is exactly how she reacts to my show. <laughs> I don't think I like telling you jokes because you don't laugh and then once you get it you're just like oh and then you just never laugh. <laughs> Is that true you guys? <laughs> like if you watch her react to my outro jokes she's like oh guys that was funny I'm so proud of my I got it and like then she just doesn't laugh she's hung over the fact that like she got the joke. Yeah I can see that. <laughs> If you guys are interested in a car tour of the truck, so I guess it'd be a truck tour, be sure to comment and let her know she could do it on a vlog. This is why she doesn't hear what I say. <laughs> no. <laughs> I told you I'm hilarious. I spoke and you laughed. <laughs> I'm hilarious. <laughs> See? <laughs> You're so full of yourself. How am I full of myself? You're the one complaining to me that I don't have a reaction to your outro jokes. I say I should do the outro mama, jokes because I'm hilarious. Tell, tell me, You're tell laughing. me a joke. <laughs> tell I can't tell you one on the spot. I'm just automatically funny. I've made you laugh for the last 30 joke. seconds. Go ahead, find me a joke. Go ahead. Wait, oh, she wants me to find a joke and tell y'all. <sighs> it's so funny because my mom has a problem. My mom doesn't have a problem, but my mom always comments about how before I tell the joke, I start cracking up laughing. And I don't know if you guys remember, but the one time that she said the joke in, um, I think it was the Chapel Smoothie video, she started laughing so hard. <laughs> <laughs> I had to so what? <laughs> I had to like cut it in half. <laughs> like we spent a solid minute just laughing at the joke. These are not funny. I don't even understand these. <laughs> I literally do not understand. Listen, explain this to me, okay? This is the number one out of 99. Please explain this to me, okay? I'm so serious. See, I don't even have to tell the joke. I don't even have to tell the joke. <laughs> This is why this stuff is not funny. Listen, listen, for real. Listen, Linda, listen. <laughs> See? The, for real. Explain this to me, okay? Number one out of 99. Today my son asked, can I have a bookmark? Oh, I get it. <laughs> I totally get it. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see if y'all get it. Okay, today my son asked, can I have a bookmark? I burst into tears, 11 years, and he still doesn't know my name is Brian. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought. That's what I was like, it doesn't make any sense. Wait, wait did you deliver that correctly? I did. Okay, I'll read it one more time. Okay, you guys ready? <laughs> It's not the runner. I'm choking on my uh, laughs here. Okay, it says, Today my son asked, Can I have a bookmark? And I burst into tears. <laughs> <laughs> After 11 years, he still doesn't know my name is Brian. It took, oh. it took me two times, too. <laughs> <laughs> but just... look, I told the joke, and it's freaking hilarious. I... All right, you guys. I'm taking up enough of your time. Please give us feedback. What do you want to hear about? What do you want to see us eat? What do you want to see her vlog? Do you want a, a tour of this new truck? Well, new to us. We also have a Kia Sorento we can do a car tour of. That's also a 2019. Um, so yeah, let us know what you guys want to see, what you guys want to hear, what you guys want us to discuss. What do you recommend on Netflix? Netflix, Hulu, Cable. Not movie channels on cable. Well, the 300s, but that's about it. Oh, I don't know. Or Not just like, what's like your guys' favorite like movies or whatever? Because I do have a lot of movies. Binge. Well, because I do have a lot of movies, and I like to like go into Walmart and look at like the five dollar bins yeah. and like just purge that area. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. 
and comment. Comment everything. Good, bad, the good, the bad, the ugly. We're in it through it all. <laughs> and she's already done her outro joke. Even I did an outro joke. See, so like two, because this video is so long. Toodles.